After two and a half years, we finally have an update for Cartoon, Mo, Blur. Let's see if it was worth it. The first thing you might notice is we have a nice new sleek user interface and the first parameter is now motion source. So you'll probably want to keep it checked on all sources because essentially that's going to inherit the motion of all parents. For example, our white solid is parented to a parent, which is parented to a parent, a grandparent, if you will. All sources will inherit the velocity of both transforms. However, if you really want to, and this is just to maintain compatibility with older versions of Cartoon Mobler, you can select a single source of motion. For example, now we're only inheriting the velocity of the first null here, and then when the second null moves, we don't inherit that velocity. If you're using After Effects lower than CC 2018, you won't be able to use this all sources because this is a new feature in the After Effects SDK. We also have fixed samples here. So for example, if I was setting this to all sources, I'm actually not gonna get any motion trails because I'm working on a pre-comp and this layer itself doesn't have any velocity or transforms. So what I can do, just like in Echo, you can set a fixed amount of samples that you want and also the shutter angle, which is the duration. And it's gonna be pretty slow to render just because um, I'm creating samples for the entire buffer. So I'm just gonna turn on continuous rasterization which will make this render quicker. And now I can choose how many samples I want, uh, even if your layer doesn't have any transformation values. And what you can do is basically parent this to say a non-transform slider that you have that might determine how many samples you want. But in this case, a fixed amount of 50 samples works perfectly. We also have new fill options. For example, previously, if you wanted to make it look like the motion trail was fading into the background, you had to use a gradient and have the end color be the same as your background color. But that didn't work if you had, say, a, a ramp for your background. The illusion is destroyed. However, now we actually have start and end opacity. So I can change the end opacity to zero, and then I can change the easing to in, now I can make it fade into the background regardless of whichever background we have. And the none setting basically just uses the original color of the layer or the text, for example. Opacity master is the master opacity of the entire motion trail. And composite over original is the original sample, which is basically where the layer currently is. Under quality, we have a new update samples button here, which will tell you basically how many samples you've got and maybe why it's taking a long time to render. So you can just click that if you're wondering, oh, how many samples is Cartoon Mobile generating? Remember, if you're generating too many samples, you can get some crunchy edges, as you can see here. So make sure you check out our plugin FXAA, which is basically designed to get rid of these aliased edges. Another cool thing about Cartoon Mobler version 1.6 is that it is now 32 bits per channel. So it's compatible with the highest amount of bit depth. And that allows you just to get really precise color values when you've got heaps of samples and you're blending between colors. That's it for this version. Thank you to all the beta testers who were testing this out and suggested these features. See you next time.